Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Belinda here from Visualize NZ and it's Trash Craft Tuesday time. Trash Craft Tuesday is such an interesting thing for me. I am both excited by it and dreaded by it. Um, does that even make sense? Anyway, we'll forget the improper English. Uh, I'm excited by it because I love working with trash, but the the dread side is coming up with something new and interesting and different. I guess new and different are the same thing, but you know what I'm talking about. And I'm always amazed by how the ideas come. Like sometimes I'm sitting here knowing I've got to record and it's been like that this morning. I've got to do a video. I've got to do, what am I going to do? What can I use? What can I do? Um, and as I sit there and ponder this, usually something comes to me. And so something came to me. It, it just did. <laughs> and I'm so grateful that ideas keep coming. Because sometimes it is a little, I guess, stressful trying to come up with something. But don't get me wrong. I love doing it. Um, so today's Trashcraft Tuesday now that I've done all that preamble, um, we're working with this suspension file. Now this one is out of my filing cabinet. <laughs> it got a bit overloaded. I don't know if you can fully appreciate um, like how bent and curved this metal hanger is that it's actually pulled off both ends and the whole thing's bent. Like it, it no longer sits flat like this one. So it's flat, this one does not. I was given a whole box of these and so I've replaced this one with one of the, the better ones that I was given. And I thought, why not make something with this rather bent up, bent out of shape file folder. Now, I don't know if I can, oh, I might be able to pull that off. Like, can you see how bent that is? Like, it's crazy. So I did possibly an unwise thing and everything that came out of the suspension folder went into the new one so the new one's probably going to bend as well but that's okay I've got a whole box of them to use uh, I haven't thought of an idea for these um, they might just have to go in recycling and that's okay you know not everything has to be used in our craft does it now this one I'm not sure if I'm able to pull off oh no it's pretty well fixed on there, so I'm just going to run along with my scissors and trim it off. So you might have some of these running around that you're not using, or they're quite often in a thrift shop. I've seen them in thrift shops quite a bit, usually not very dear, um, because with people going to digital, the old-fashioned filing system has fallen out of use in a lot of places uh, but not everywhere of course I love my filing cabinet I would not be without one um, so yes you can still pick these up now the immediate thing that struck me with this is this panel here it's a space for writing it says dates on it I guess of whatever's been filed in here but I thought that's a beautiful size just for a journal card right as it is so I'm just going to, um, how's best to tackle this, I'm going to cut that out, in fact why don't I cut straight down that crease line, that's probably what I should have done, it's a bit noisy guys, hope you can um, bear with me, okay, and it's, you know, it's not super thick cardstock, but it is cardstock, so I'm just going to roughly cut this out because it's easier to roughly cut it out and then cut it out nicely. So that's one item um, and I would, it's got little rounded corners so I'd probably just trim around right around the outside black line, put a little something over here to decorate it and then decorate the other side. And you've got this great journal card with lines on one side and then your decoration on the other. I mean, how useful is that? That's off the bat, something really quick and easy. 
Now this is that isn't what I intended to use this folder for, uh, this file. But when I grabbed it out and saw this, I thought, well, obvious what that's going to be for. So I'm not going to work on that right now. If we get time, we might go back to that. But I want to use some of this, um, maybe this rest of this bit, and make a. Um, what am I trying to say? Like a a driver's license type thing, or a something along those lines. Um, now this is inspired by Margrethe over at. Um, oh gosh, what's the name of the channel? You'll know which channel she's from, I'm sure. Um, my mind's just gone blank. Uh, Seven Plaza, is it? I get confused between Seven Plaza and 49 Dragonflies. Uh, between Louise Heinzel and Margrethe. Um, which one's which? So it's one of those two. Uh, she did something along these lines recently and I was I've been quite inspired by it so that's where I'm taking my inspiration for today's project from um, I'm probably going to make it a little bit bigger than your typical like driver's license because our driver's licenses here in New Zealand are about this size uh, in fact they are exactly that size um, so I want to make it a little bit bigger than that so that there's a reasonable amount of room on the back for journaling uh, so that and that's just the edges are not straight so let's tidy those up oops line it up straight helps just going to take off a little bit on each side to just straighten it up Yeah, see it's definitely thicker because it took a couple of passes to get through that. Um, and here I have an opportunity to decide exactly how wide I would like it. I'm thinking I'm going to go there, so I'm going to take a little bit more off. Mm, I'll keep that for now, might find something to use that for. Okay, so we have a plain side and we have a side that's got a you know a few marks and bits and pieces on it. Sorry, my nose is running ever since I turned the video on. Timing, eh? Always seems to be against me when it comes to my nose. Right, so we need to cover that up. So that's going to be the side we decorate and this will be the side that can be journaled on. Now, it is quite a dark green. Um, you can get them in different colours, but all the ones I have are actually this colour. Um, except maybe one that's kind of like a light tan. But even with just an ordinary blue biro, you can see that writing. And that's what I was wondering. Um, that's perfectly fine. And then if we use a black pen, I don't know if this is a black one, let's try it. Yep, black pen, so just an ordinary black biro. Um, you can read both of those quite well and see them more quite well. So you don't need to do any treatment for that. Um, but of course, uh, one other option is if you have a thicker, you know, more of an inky black pen, um, then that's going to show up even more. Or one more option, I've got my fountain pen here. And look at that, isn't that beautiful and just rich and easy to read. Fades a little bit as it dries, but still very easy to read. So that's the first concern, is that it's perfectly writable as is. So let's get to the decorating. So I've grabbed out a number of scrappy bits. Uh, so I've got some tissue, and I was wondering about covering it in tissue. Mm, not so sure now. Um, we've got some stamped napkin backs. So this is the white backs from your multiple layered napkins that has been stamped. This one's the same but been inked. Um, then we've got some brown 
scrap brown paper that I've done rubbings on, an old book page that I've coffee dyed, um, an old book page that I've done some stamping and some watercolour ink sort of colouring of. There's another book page that I've done some mark making with watercolours. Another napkin back that's stamped in various brown inks. The um, the ready one there is aged mahogany, so it's a ready brown. Then another one that I've done in black. Then I've got a pharmacy bag here that I've stamped with Distress Ink and then added water to make it go all gorgeous and distressed. And then just some cheap labels that I... Uh, stamped on so I deglossed them and stamped on them and I thought maybe we could use that I don't know I just grabbed out some bits and pieces that I thought might work I am going for quite a vintagey look you don't have to this is just where I'm being led today I'm feeling in the mood and I have been on a bit of a that vintage vibe kick lately you may have noticed if you've watched my previous videos lately um, so I'm just going to kind of, actually that's kind of fun, just all the dots. Mm. I mean, I don't know whether it particularly goes with the vibe of what I'm doing, but I'm going to go with it because I think it's kind of fun. So it may not end up uh, truly vintage. It could be a hodgepodge. Um but it's what I'm feeling, so let's go with it. Let's just have some fun. And if you're crafting along with me, awesome. If you're not, if you're doing something else like housework, boring, isn't it? But hopefully this video will help it go a little bit uh, faster and more interesting than typically housework is. Um, yeah. Hopefully, keep, just keep me company. Have some fun. Right, so I'm just going to lay that down there. So I've got some of the triangles at the bottom. And that glue's coming through that napkin. It's all sticky. And our card has curled because it's only got glue on one side. So that's easy enough to fix. When it dries, you just bend it back and it will be good as gold. If you do want to cover this side, then adding glue to this side will help straighten it out as well. Let's just make sure those corners get stuck down. Real sticky. So yes, uh, covering the back will help with that issue. It won't curl as badly. It's got something to do with surface tension. going to fold that up and get it out of my way because I don't think I'll be using that bit again. Sorry about the clatter. So I hope you all had a great weekend and a lovely Monday. I am filming this on Monday because I'll be out all day tomorrow. Oops, my scissors are getting gluey. Getting a bit stuck to them. Right, so there we've got our base, and I think that's kind of cute, I do. Now I'm just going to gently give it a smooth down. I don't want to press hard because I'd probably end up ripping that tissue. Okay, right. I have also grabbed out a whole bunch of stamps in my collection that give me that vintage sort of feel. Um, so I've got some coffee ring ones. I've got various text and splatters. These are, I might save for the journal card for the the um, this one. Um, the little ink bottles. I've got some texture stamps. I've got tickets. Um, this set here, which is an old set, I really like this little doily type image. I thought that could be work as a little accent. Um, some various compass type things, 
my sewing one this one with all the different like field labels and numbers and bits and pieces and then I've got this travel related one which has some fun words and, and textures and a compass and things in it and then this one on the other side which is upside down is like more tickets and bits and pieces so that's what I've kind of pulled out to work with um, I know I'll be using that one so let's perhaps start with that one. Um, looking at where to put my stamps. Found a home. That one. Oops. Things falling over, falling down. Sorry if the uh, plastic of all this is glaring on you. That's kind of unavoidable, really. Um... I did not think about like a an image of a person, you know, like you would have a, a license with a person's face on it. Um, I'm looking around me. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm looking around to see if I've got a book that might have something in it. I don't think I do. Um, I'll just give a wee check of this one. This is a wee stamp magazine <laughs> that could be fun little cowboy there so these are there's a fine fellow there so yeah there could be some options I didn't didn't really think I would find anything in here it's a bit big little child on a stamp there I'm really liking this cowboy dude he's Mexican I really like that text there too so um, let's see if I can make to lose his toes but we probably possibly won't use the full length image anyway. So excuse your toes, mister. This is a publication from 1966. Okay, so we've torn him out. I'm so glad I hadn't refiled that back where it belongs. Otherwise, I would still be scratching around for something. So, I'm not sure whether I'm going to use the full image, but I'm going to tear the full image out first, and then I can tear it down further if we decide. I actually kind of like the full image. And this may not turn into a license type thing after all. It might just be um, random. Because I think that's fun. I think I do want him complete. Um, maybe down the bottom corner. I am working portrait wise. Um, he's definitely too tall to go landscape. Can slightly see the marks on the file folder underneath. Okay, now I'm going to go top left corner. I am going to ink around him very carefully so I don't rip. Rip the paper because it's very quite thin paper. Did I? I did say that I was going to be out all day Tuesday, didn't I? Yeah, so I've got a follow up surgeon appointment tomorrow. So we'll see, see what he says then. But I think things are going really well apart from my knee so it all remained to be seen whether he is going to do any follow-up on my knee because honestly I feel like I walk like a cowboy um, at the moment 
you know the bow-legged type thing I try and walk normally and my knee just doesn't like it and I end up it ends up buckling under me which isn't great so I've, I've developed sort of this bow-legged walk which isn't that fantastic for the rest of one's body um, I'll put that out because that's probably going to create a glare uh, we could actually use the condemned sticker like he's a condemned outlaw that could be fun shall we do that Okay, so I might just build up a kind of a picture here before I commit. I do that across there. Like a condemned man walking. <laughs> I haven't done anything like that before and I've never thought I would have a use for the condemned stamp, but why not? That seems to be quite fun. Um, so a lot of these are sort of field notes, specimen related, which aren't quite what I'm looking for. Uh, there is this identification check, which we could stamp. And I'm going to do that on a scrap bit of paper. So I've got my scrap papers. This is a scrap of coffee dyed, so I think I might use that. Something else glued onto it. I think that was one of my um, vintage inspired maps that I did. Now I've buried all my stuff up here. Typical, just typical. So let's see if we can stamp these. I was going to try and stamp them individually, but I could just stamp them all together and then cut them apart that's probably the easiest thing and I'm going to go black I think um, can I get it I can get it across there there we go so it's turning into something other than what I'd anticipated, which is absolutely fine. You know, if you've got something in your mind and it kind of diverts from that, don't worry about it. Just go with it. You can always come back to that other idea. Um, but sometimes the inspiration flow just takes you in a different direction. And that's A-OK. -okay. In fact, it's actually good because it means that you're being inspired and you're just in that flow state which is a really rather lovely place to be. Oh, these scissors are so sticky. That didn't take much for them to get all sticked up. Okay, I'm just going to give them a quick clean because that's going to annoy me. I'm just dropping the wipes on the floor. Put them away afterwards. So I'm just very carefully running the wet wipe over them to take off that glue residue. Because it's just so frustrating when your paper keeps sticking to your scissors. They're only cheap scissors. Uh, but they're pretty. They're, they're new. Rel relatively new. I've had them a while, but I just haven't used them very often. Um... I was keeping them for fabric, but they're not really suitable for fabric. They, they're not that great at cutting. <laughs> Fine on paper, but not so much for fabric. So I've just got a little... Yeah. So yes, I do want to cut that off. And even up the spacing... It would have been fine as is. I'm just being very particular. So let's give that an ink up. So what can we call this? A um, it's not not a wanted poster, but a like a rogue gallery um, outlaw. 
file something I don't know something like that I guess I'll come up with a heading when I go to post a video we can do something like that I think the condemned I'll just stamp straight on there so I'll just leave that sitting there for now um, I do want some like scripty bit like somebody's written a story about what this guy's done um, I have no idea who this character is um, he's probably a perfectly fine fellow back in whenever he was hanging around um, where's my script stamp gone do, 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 just hunting thought I had a different one out than this but this one will do it's a bit bigger than what I wanted but that's okay and I just want to put something underneath the paper to catch can't find the sheet I was using so let's grab a new one out of the accounting software book oops stamp stuck to it okay so pop that under there and I've put this on just my regular block let's see which way up it goes I always get confused by this one I think it goes that way because it's it's very hard to read that it's you know the right way up um, but you can tell when you stamp it so I guess I can just switch my paper around since I'm stamping it on paper if it's upside down I just turn it the other way gosh get my brain in gear But I'm going to trim down the paper so I'm not worried about cutting off the edges or if it doesn't stamp properly all the way across. Or even if it's straight or not. Oh, it is beautiful though. It's so fine and delicate. It's gorgeous. And I don't even know if it's in English. I can't tell. I really can't tell. <laughs> so to me that doesn't look straight so I'm going to try and line up the text on my mat and then I'm going to trim it straight because it bothers my eye that it doesn't look straight I can tell it's not straight I'm going to straighten up that edge. Now I'll use that as my straight edge. Now do I want to... Okay, I want to do it about there. I'm quiet haven't I concentrating that's a fun little snippet already stamped that can be saved for something I kind of like that torn off look at the bottom there so okay do we want it that long though Yes, I think I do. So I'm going to um, ink this up and glue these bits down. And then I want to find something to go underneath him. Um, if I had a signature stamp, that would look really cool there. But I don't. So we'll think of something else. Maybe a number. Numbers are always a good option, aren't they? So I'm going to glue that down there. So now our black bit showing underneath is 
it's still visible but it's sorry about the reach um but you know it just disappears it's just another layer right down to the bottom now something I should have paid attention to was the spacing so I've got like quite a space over here and not much space over there but that's okay it still looks fine and I can always trim that side down as um, an option Uh, I don't know, Outlaw ID card. I'm still trying to think of a name. If you have an idea, let me know in the description. Uh, sorry, not in the description box. In the um, comments, if you think of a better name for these. Because they're, they're slightly, definitely different to what I was anticipating. Okay, this one's got receipt on it. I'm not really wanting a receipt. Um... agent that could be the one who's closed off the case this is a cool number i've used this one quite a bit um, i think sorry i keep going quiet my brain's going 20 a dozen um, I might use this one because it's got the number, the N-O, in front. It's a bit smaller, but that's okay. Yep, no, down in that corner. And I'm just going to stamp it again on the directly onto the card, or, or will I? No, I'm going to... Ah. I was saying I'm going to use my scrap, but it's already stamped. Um, here's some more. Okay, so all is not lost. Yep, these are definitely off the uh, maps I did recently. Let's just stamp it on that. I could do it directly on here, but one, I want the layering. Two, it gives you the option if it doesn't stamp properly, then you can do it again and you haven't, you know, mucked up your your card. Although you can always stick something over top of it too if you, it does go awry. All right. Let's, oh, sorry, I do seem to be doing a lot of banging on the table today, putting things down heavily. I do apologise if it's bugging you. It's very unconscious, but as I put something down and hear the noise, I go, ooh, whoops, don't want to hurt your ears. Yep, he's criminal number 5,337, I'm making up this little story about this fellow he's got his um, bandolier of ammunition around his chest he's got a sword at his side and a uh, I'm not sure if it's a rifle or a shotgun in his hand so he looks like he's probably a, a criminal or very possibly a criminal so that's the story we've made about him as I said, I don't know who he's supposed to be or anything, so it's nothing personal. It's just basically the weaponry that he's wearing. I mean, for all I know, he's actually protecting his territory from some baddies, and he's actually a good guy. 
Right, and I'm going to do the condemned in red. Because that sounds like a jolly good colour for the word condemned. Oops, I didn't step that very well, did I? But never mind. It's good enough for me. It adds to the um, the feel of it, I guess. That it's, you know, the, the person in the office who would have stamped that wouldn't have cared whether it was a perfect stamp or not because there's no doubt what it says, what it means. I think that's really fun. And then I'm going to ink around the edges. Of course I am. I did think about rounding the corners, but... I don't think it would have had rounded corners if this was a real bit of ephemera, so I'm going to leave it square. You could also snip them, give them a little angle if you preferred, or round them if you prefer the rounding, but I'm going to leave it square. And then we have a fun little journal card. Actually quite simple. It's a lot more simple than I thought it was going to be, but that's fun. I love that. How are we going on time? Have we got time for another one? Let's see if we can make another one. Of course, that means I've got to find another picture. Um, so let's cut ourselves. Um, just thinking here. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I'm busy thinking about a dozen different things on my next this next one. But first off, I want to actually trim the card so it's straight. So I've got a straight edge at the top here. So I'm using that to line it up to make my straight edge. And then I'll come down here to give me a second straight edge. So if you've got something that's crooked and you want to straighten it up, choose one edge and make sure that's straight. And then use that same edge to line up. To make your other edges straight and then everything should be straight as long as you line it up straight on your mat to that same edge then you should be able to get everything aligned nicely and i reckon this would probably do two so we've got uh, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, almost 19 centimetres. Okay, no, that, doing it in half is not going to make me happy. So I am going to, how tall was this one, just out of interest? I like, quite like that height, so I'm going to go about the same. And then I'll just have this little square here to turn into something else. Okay, so here's our base again. This one has no black on it or anything. Um, let's look at whether we want to do something different. We've got this serviette we could put on it. Just adds a bit of interest in the background. That's that's all it is. Mm, that one's not singing to me. It isn't. What about this green inky one? Trying to get them undone without ripping it. I like that. Let's do that for something different. Okay. And I've cleaned my scissors and they're going to get all gluey again, aren't they? Just making sure I get those corners glued. Oh, my tummy is growling. 
I guess it is getting on towards lunchtime. Oops, and I've got glue all around the edges of the card. Don't think it matters which side I put it on, but the tissue is so thin, the uh, napkin is so thin that the ink goes right through anyway. Maybe I'm thirsty. Maybe that's why my tummy's growling. It's saying you haven't had a sip. I think since I've started the video, I haven't had a sip of my coffee. So let me rectify that for a moment. End up with coffee on the end of my nose. I've wiped it off with my hand and it's like, oh, now I've got coffee on the back of my hand. I'm just a messy crafter, including the coffee. Oh. Uh, gross, all sticky. Alright, another clean up job required. Stuck to my finger. I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to rip the tissue on the front of the card. Whoops, chomping into the card a little bit there. Never mind. Nobody will know. You won't tell my secret, will you? No, you're good friends. You won't tell on me. Right. Clean scissors again for now. Yeah, I like that. That's just just a bit of texture and a bit of fun. Okay, so we need another picture. Um, where did I put the book? So I don't know if these other ones are the right size, but first we need to find that other man. And see whether we can make him work. This one. Oh yes, I think we can make him work. We might have to cut him out a little bit more. I'm going to actually rip the page out. Because I don't want to destroy the whole page. Because, like, look at that font. Isn't that font really cool? And this, like, this illustration of the stamp. The font they've used. These ship images. I mean, don't want to destroy anything that we don't have to destroy so i'm gonna take off that title first because i think that is super cool illustrated by monty wed as the artist now we have got boxes and things around them so how are we going to Okay, we're going to lose a bit of the scroll because I don't want to get it into the ship. So I'm going to sacrifice the scroll that he's holding. Down there and I'll go under his feet. Like so. Right, now how do we want to do this? Thing. I'm going to go just right on his elbow just to avoid this text down here. Now, is he a criminal? He doesn't immediately, what does it say, engineering genius. So this guy is an engineer. Doesn't scream at me as a criminal, but he might be a white collar criminal. He might be, you know, embezzling money from his firm or... I don't know why I'm going down this dark road of uh, criminals, but, you know, sometimes it's fun to explore a, a darker side, if you like, making up stories about these characters. 
and he's got this box behind him but I'm not too worried about that I think that'll be fine so I'm going to go this side this time so let's ink him up and pop him down yeah I'm going to make him a more of a white collar criminal he's you know he's the businessman who's embezzling money from his firm why do I make up stories about the things that I'm making um just because I like to <laughs> I think it's fun it gives it in my head a little bit more meaning a bit more purpose um, and helps me bring it together so I know sort of what direction I'm heading in if I've got a wee story about what's going on in it. So I guess that's why I do a story when I'm doing these things. So that to me it feels cohesive because I know what's going on or what's supposed to be going on. Um, so again I'm going to stamp the text. So grab out my backing sheet. I need my text stamp wherever I put it. So I've grabbed out way more stamps than what I'm going to end up using. I'm using all the same ones, it seems. Okay. It's a wet day here today, so all the cats are coming and going and various degrees of wetness. Puss just came in. He'll be looking for his lunch soon. He gets lunch. He's the only one of our four cats that gets lunch. Because he's an old boy. He needs a bit of extra sustenance during the day. Alright, there we go. Let's give that a quick clean. I didn't even do any coffee splatters or anything on the other one, did I? Maybe on this one. Because they don't have to be exactly the same. As I've already demonstrated, because I'm not doing them the same, am I? Right, so let's get this. Yeah, my text is not stamped straight. But in this case, I'm not going to worry overly about it. I'm just going to make sure the paper itself is straight. I'm going to tap it to there, I think. Could have done with stamping it a little bit longer, but that's okay. It's all good. Right, so we need to make it... Oh no, it's actually not bad on the height. It seemed to be quite small. I'm going to go about... Yeah, that moved so let me just realign it another cool little snippet there to use in collage or something I mean even one of those snippets would actually work quite well with the torn edge it's quite nice as well could even make it the same height which it pretty much is <laughs> I like that but I'm gonna keep going that's that's an idea for another day yep so we'll put that up there let's ink it up so this guy's gonna be condemned because he got found out about his embezzling of finances So what sort of journal would you use these in? Um, a masculine journal would be an excellent place for them. Um, a vintage related journal. Um, where else might they find a home? A steampunk maybe. You know if you steampunk it up a little bit. Go in a steampunk journal. 
a historical journal you know you, i guess which is similar to a vintage but i'm thinking not necessarily vintage style but uh more like focused on events in history if that's a thing out there oops no that's wildly not even within cooey of being straight let's try that again that's better fortunately i was able to peel it up without any damage okay so we want to add some numbers identification check let's go with that one again Our little bit of coffee dried paper here do i want to use this yeah i do i want to use this little dark patch over here of the coffee staining one so let's do our number while we're here as well um which number do we want we want a different number don't we um maybe that number we were going to use before just why not let's do that one now, i don't think i'll do it on that spot because they're not going to be together i think it would look a bit weird if that same splotch was in two different places um, so our number identification check and then we'll do our condemned over top so that's all we need for that cut these out <clears throat> sorry getting a bit froggy as well that sounds like the rain's actually stopped because I can hear birds tweeting outside So I hope this has given you something to um, inspire you, given you some ideas of what you can do with with those old suspension folders if you happen to have some lying around or find some cheap in a junk shop or even get given some like I was. Uh, it can make some fun ephemera. Put those down there maybe. Not going to commit just yet until I know where I want everything. Now I do have a stamps that have the NO, the number. So I could do the number separately. Although I probably should have stamped it in front of here before I cut it. Yes, I think I like that up there. Just going to grab the tacky glue just to make it a little bit quicker and easier. There's actually a nice perfect gap up there for it. So this is my Outlaw series. <laughs> super fun maybe i should put some little um coffee rings or something or splatters on this one just for a bit of fun okay and then we need our condemned stamp so we're going for the red let's see if we can stamp it nicely this time not that it matters Where do, I should have thought about where I want it. Yep, I think across there. So, if you didn't know what you would use a condemned stamp for, maybe that's given you an idea for that as well. I 
think condemned is quite a negative word, isn't it, really? And lots of us are going like, where would I ever use the word condemned? Why would I want that in my journal? Well, maybe this has inspired something. That red ink quite stains the stamps. But there's no actual colour left on it. It's just the staining. Okay, let's do some coffee rings. Because I've got this. This was one of my um, birthday present stamp sets that I got last week. So let's, and I'm thinking these wee ones. Let's try the wee ones. I've used some of the, the bigger ones. And I'm going to use the coffee coloured ink. And I'll just grab back this sheet because I'll probably want to do some over the edge. Whoops. Let's make sure the stamp goes on the stamp pad, not the acrylic block. Ah, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Let's put one up here. And let's go for another, do we want splatter or do we want another ring? <clears throat> Maybe a less decorative one, if you know what I mean, because this has got lots of splotches and bits and pieces. So let's go with a plainer one. Pop it up there. So just the three. Do we want to do any on the other one? Do we want to do some on this one? Why not? Do like a good coffee ring. <laughs> and this one I'm going to stamp again there. So there we go. We've got some coffee rings on our little file cards. This one needs inking up. And then I'll show them both to you. And that'll be the video. So we didn't get to that other journal card, the one with the lines on, but... That's just, you know, decorated up any way you like. Usual suspects. You could collage on the decorative side and then put focal point. You could do something like this on it. Um, lots, of, lots of ideas. And maybe we'll even do tackle that in a different video. All right, pop that back before I lose that wee stamp. So here we go. This is the first one that we made with our little... Out, Mexican outlaw guy with his um, his ammunition and his sword and everything and then there's this one our white collar criminal who's been embezzling funds so I think they look super cute and fun and I think that translated into a journal they're just going to be fun they're not going to be negative or dark or anything I think they're just going to be fun another really good use for those black and white illustrations you might have whether it's like a typical portrait would work really well as well you might not go down the condemned line but equally why not uh, I had fun with that it definitely was a different direction than what I had intended but I'm glad I went with the flow because I think they are super cute and super fun thanks for joining me today for Trashcraft Tuesday I'll be back again tomorrow with another video. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and you would like to see more content. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. Please leave me a comment, a thumbs up. I appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate your time and for being here with me. Take care and I'll see you again. Bye.